What is up? On this episode of the Static Age, once again, bringing up Motley Crue, this time drummer Tommy Lee. We don't normally dig into, like, you know, these, like, little tabloid things that pop up, but once in a while, one will hit you that you're just like, what the fuck? This is one of those. Tommy Lee has decided that he's not signing no more fan mail. He says, fuck off, don't send me nothing, I ain't signing shit, because he's mad that some people took those autographs and put them on eBay to sell them. Yeah, and he's obviously not the only celebrity for this to have happened to. Yeah. It's been going on for years, and it will go on pretty much as long as there's an eBay or any kind of an auction site. It's always been this way. There's always been the the celebrity and fan thing, and fans want celebrities' autographs. I've read a million biographies, autobiographies, uh, watched a million documentaries. There's always been going all the way back to the beginning of celebrities, people that have asked celebrities for autographs. Yes. And you know, hey, Bella Lugosi, could you sign this napkin? Frank Sinatra, could you sign this cigarette pack? Like, there's these things that are out there autographed. And it's like, you know, it's always been a thing. And as time goes on, this stuff does get sold. Yes. And it's just, it's just part of the business. I have always had the opinion that if you're one of the one in a million that are lucky enough to have the kind of life where people will pay money for your scribble. You should be nothing but thankful, scribble on that fucking thing, and be done with it. Why sit there and get trivial about what the person's going to do with it later? So what? Yeah. If they sold it, you put food on a fan's table, or maybe they're not a fan at all, but who gives a shit? It's scribble. Exactly. That's it. It's not Scribble. taking anything away from you. And if you really got such a hair up your ass about it, set up a site where fans can buy autographed stuff. And you'll knock out your own market of this third-party market where people are selling them on eBay. Make yourself accessible to fans because not every fan can go to meet and greets. Not every fan, you know, takes, you know, uh, there's people that won't take the initiative or people that'll become yeah. fans later. Make it accessible to them and maybe there won't be as much of a problem with it. But treating your fans like shit and telling them to go fuck themselves is not the way to do it. Yeah, I can't respect anybody like that. I'm not a Motley Crue fan, so this one's e easy for me. I'm not a big Motley Crue fan. These guys are notoriously assholes and it's just kind of a thing that's yeah. like well known They're about them. They're always saying dumb shit. Yeah. It's just it's just that kind of thing. But for this particular situation to just go above and beyond and put out a, a press release saying, you know what, fuck you, I'm not signing any more of your shit. He's saying, you know, it's like, look, you don't deserve to be where you are if you have a problem with the, that side of it. Okay, if you're that bothered by being a celebrity, then fuck off. Don't play the drums no more. Don't be in a band. Don't try to be a celebrity and a rock star and a movie star. Go hide in the mountains somewhere. Go pull a, a fucking Lindsay Lohan and move to Dubai. <laughs> you know what I mean? Because that's part of the territory. And I mean, there's a million bands that struggle that never get there. Great bands, great talent, great musicians, and they never come anywhere near the level that someone like Tommy Lee was able to get to. Yeah. This guy reached a, a status that very few can ever achieve, and that alone he should make this guy a little more fucking thankful yeah, than a being. Appreciative. It's like, dude, it's yeah. scribble. It's screwed. That's you could literally like, just go like this. You're good at two things, Tommy: drumming and driving a boat with your dick. So unless you're gonna make a career <laughs> out of driving their boat with your dick, then maybe you should be a little nicer to your fans because you're getting old. Yeah, I, I don't know. I, I just I can't see it. I don't know how people still support these guys. You know, it, it's it goes on, and I know that people have that blind love. I know with Kiss, it, you know, there's certain people that can get that way and, and other, you know, other bands as well where just people are just blinded by it. They don't care if the fan treats them like shit. But I've always looked at that the wrong way. Like, if somebody's in, and I, I've said this before, I had a Michael Sweet encounter and that ended it. All my striper shit gone. I was like, fuck this band, I want nothing to do with it. And I can't see supporting or putting one dollar in a person's bank account that's going to treat me like shit. I, I just can't... It ended see my it. love for Kiss. Yeah, like I still enjoy the music, but I'm not I'm not the the super fan that I used to be. No, you know when you are meeting people that like you had pictures of on your walls, and they just couldn't give a flying fuck 
to just take two seconds to acknowledge you yeah. and to thank you for the countless month, you know, dollars, hours, like just everything that you've invested in them to be a part of what furthered their career and made them successful. And they can't take like 30 seconds yeah. to scribble something for you to take a photo with you. Like, yeah. They it's act like they, they're blessing you, like they're the Pope. You know, like they're yeah. doing you a huge favor like, yeah. just by, you know, taking yeah. it. I'll let you exist in the same space as me for yeah. 30 seconds. Give me more of your money. Now, there's a lot of people who don't believe in, in you know, getting autographs, and that's fine. I understand that. There's also a lot of people out there, and I, I was told by several people, don't meet your idols. Don't meet your heroes. You don't want to meet these people because it can taint and ruin mm -hmm. uh, any admir you know adoration that you have for that person. And it's a true thing. I've seen it in you know firsthand where that does happen. And I've known people that it's happened to in multiple bands. This is about Tommy. This isn't about them. But there's there's a point where it becomes kind of sad and pathetic if you're still supporting guys who are like this. And it does come that point when you know a celebrity has just gone too damn far. And Tommy has gone too damn far several times. Uh, it, in the article, it quotes Tommy back in 2012, um, how pissed he was about the fact that people are constantly asking to take his picture. He says, Tommy says, it irritates the fuck out of me when people say, you owe it to your fans, they put you where you are, etc., etc. I certainly don't owe anybody anything. I'm not here to take pictures with you. I'm here to entertain you. Nobody put me where I am but me. They may have helped inspire me with their love for what I do, but I put myself right here where I want to be with a lot of hard work, practice, talent, luck, etc. What I do owe myself and others is being the best I can be, blah, 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 blah. And why I say blah, 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 blah is because that's all bullshit. The fans put you right the fuck where you are. If you don't have fans, you get nowhere. There's a million people that were talented, worked hard, busted their balls, got a record deal, and fucking just got nowhere near the level Motley Crue got to. So no, you owe it to your fans. It's not you. It's your fans. There was a million great drummers. Tommy yeah. was not the only great drummer. There was a million of them. He got lucky he was in the right because band the, the fans right supported Motley Crue. The fan base was behind them. The fan base is still behind them, which is why they're still asking him for autographs. It's your fans yeah. that put you where you are. You know how many bands like his contemporaries are <clears throat> out there on the road? I mean, obviously not now with everything that's going on in the world. But, yeah. you know, just as good drummers playing dive bars. Sure. You know, just hoping somebody comes up to them and asks for an autograph or a picture. Like, it would make their night and make them feel like they're still doing this for a reason. Yeah. But meanwhile, he's sitting up in his mansion like, I can't be bothered. Yeah, I put myself here. Yeah. I don't know nobody's shit. I did, I did it all myself. Bullshit. If you didn't have the fans, you wouldn't be sitting nowhere. You'd be broke, like a lot of other guys from the same time period as you. Sorry, man. That's the way that it is. Facts. The fans put you where you are. Without them, you're nothing. End of story. It's just the way that it is. Are you a person who wants autographs? Do you chase these guys? Do you treasure these autographs? Are you an autograph seller? Are you one of those guys that goes out and hounds these guys for shit and takes the stuff and sells it on eBay? We want to hear from you. We want to see the different sides of the What's story. What's your perspective? That's right. Let's discuss that. Put it down there in the comment box below. Click on the floating pumpkin to subscribe to the channel. We'll see you soon here for some more discussion. Not on Tommy Lee here on The Static Age.